and we just did three Roma tomatoes in there. Okay, and now we're going to add some red onions. Red onions go good with tomatoes. And we're copying our friend Justine's tomato pie recipe. Let's put a little bit more onion on here. Now she says this is a southern recipe and if you've been to the south, I was born and raised in the south and I've never heard of this ever. I've heard of fried green tomatoes, we grew tomatoes, we did a whole lot of stuff with it, but we never made a pie, okay? And Alabama is kind of just as southern as you can get, but she says it's a southern thing, so if you've ever seen this before, let us know, because I hadn't, but we're going to try it. This is some fresh basil we're putting on top of the tomatoes and onion. And tomato and basil, we all know, go really good together, but again, not in the south. We're not a real big on basil. And now we're going to season this with a little salt and pepper. I have some pink, pink Himalayan salt. Season it real good. And we're going to do some black pepper. Freshly ground black pepper. Okay. And let your taste be the guide. If you like heavily seasoned, let's go with it. Okay. Looks pretty good already. We're going to set that aside. We're going to get a bowl, and in this bowl, we're going to do a nice cheese mixture for the topping of our pie. So we're going to do some cheddar, and this is about a cup. In a two cup bag, we're using a half of the bag. So clean out your fridge if you got a half a bag of cheddar. That's what we're going to use. Next thing, mozzarella. Same thing, we're going to do half a bag, guys. And that's about a cup. One bag is two cups. The recipe says add a cup of mayo. A good, good mayo. So, East Coast is Hellman's, on the West Coast is Best Foods. Okay, so let's add all of that. And this is the small jar, it's eight ounces, and eight ounces equals a cup. But let's get it all in here. Now this kind of reminds me of something Southern. Like pimento cheese things. Always it's a combination of cheese and mayo. So let's get it all out. Just about there. Now let's incorporate this. So I kind of think if I had pimento, it would more that would say south to me, but the recipe didn't call for it. But I won't be mad at you if you add pimento to it, okay? I won't. Okay. I think we got that incorporated pretty good. This is going to be our topping on our pie. Okay. Here's the pie. Let's top it off. I'm going to do dollops. Try not to disturb it until I mash it down. So we got one cup of mayo. 
and two cups of cheese. And I think it's gonna be the perfect amount here for our pie. Let's cover it all up. And it comes together quite quickly. Okay, our oven is on, so we're going to put it in a preheated oven. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Spread it around nicely. I think that looks good. How about, what do you think? Looks pretty good to me. Now, one last cheese we're going to put on. A little parm to make a nice crust. So just do a nice little sprinkling. And we're going to get ready to put it in the oven. 325 for about 40 minutes. Okay? And we'll see how it looks in a little bit. Hi guys, we're back fresh out of the oven. We let it cool for a few minutes, but our pie tin is still warm. This is our southern, somewhat southern tomato pie. Okay? And we're going to try it out. It browned up nicely. So, let's get in here. Tomato cheese pie. Okay. And that crust is Marie Callender's. It's super buttery. Okay. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can get it out intact as much as possible. Ooh. Doesn't want to release. Let's get it out. It's so cheesy. Okay, looks good. Let's get some tomato. Some cheese. I'm a crust person, so I'm gonna get a little piece of crust. Make the perfect bite. Okay. Mmm. I taste the basil, I taste the cheese, I taste everything, the tomato. Okay, I'm Southern enough to make this a Southern tradition, though. Okay, new Southern tradition. Mmm. You gotta try it. I think you're gonna like it. Okay?